Hey ladies, I'm live here in Tara's team page. So, I am going to be sharing tonight about how I build my business. Hey Tara, thank you so much for asking me to share. And I'm super excited to talk about how I build my business using social media. I know that's actually how my upline and I connected Lexi and so it's my favorite it's my jam social media so I'm really excited to share with y'all how I use social media to grow my business and attract my ideal customer and distributor I know my largest customer orders have come from social media from people I did not know in person and my best distributors have come from social media that I do not know in person. So it's a powerful way to attract who you're trying to have on your team or have as a customer. So I'm going to be talking about how I do that. So feel free to comment below if you have any questions about anything that I'm talking about and I'll be glad to answer those. So a little bit about me. I'm a registered nurse by trade, and I've been married to my husband, Brandon, for the last seven years. We live in Knoxville, Tennessee, and we don't have kids yet, but would love to have a family someday in the near future. So basically, I have been working from home the last few, few years as a holistic health coach. So I am familiar with social media and branding through that business and I learned the ropes of Instagram originally three years ago and that's really my first love so I started with Instagram and learned to brand myself using Instagram and so I've used it ever since to connect with people and brand myself. So the first thing I wanted to talk about was picking a few platforms and mastering those. That's my biggest piece of advice. If you don't take anything else away from my story and what I have to share with you is to just focus your attention on one or two platforms. Um, I know it can be overwhelming when you think about YouTube and Pinterest and Snapchat and Instagram and Facebook and what about Facebook business pages? There are so many different platforms to choose from that the overwhelm can cause inaction. And what do we want with our business? We want action. So you have to remember um, that it's okay to number one to feel overwhelmed but number two you know that you don't have to do everything like I said I started with Instagram three years ago when I started my home business and started branding myself so I wasn't originally on YouTube and Pinterest at all I wasn't originally on Facebook business pages at all it all started with me mastering one platform and figuring that out and I got really good at it. I did free YouTube trainings. And the uh, specific training that I did originally for Instagram was Shalene Johnson's free Instagram training. It may still be up on YouTube, but that is where I started. And I just taught myself how to master Instagram. So that helped me to build that confidence to figure it out how how to do it without getting overwhelmed and just quitting. I know a lot of people, I see tons of people building home businesses who may do a few posts on a specific platform and then just stop. And something Katie Enos posted on her website about was consistency and how one post a day is better than, you know, doing five posts in a day and then going MIA. And that's so true when it comes to any platform, whichever one you decide to go with, whether it's YouTube or Facebook or Instagram or Pinterest, it's important to be consistent 
on whichever platform you're choosing to master and build your business with. So say you pick uh, YouTube and start uploading videos. It's important to keep doing that on a consistent basis, whether it's one video a week. I know that's my personal goal is to go live on Instagram or Facebook once a week and then I'll upload that to YouTube. So my goal is to do that consistently at least once a week. But what if I just do one video and then just stop, you know, any kind of following I may have started to have on my new YouTube channel is going to, you know, wonder where I'm at, you know, can they trust me? Um, do I know what I'm doing? So it's important to maintain that consistency and that's how you grow a following is by showing up every day. So I treat social media like it's my job, like I'm clocking in, I'm my own boss, you know, I report to me. So it's my job to show up every day and do my posts, schedule my posts, you know, work on my video editing or whatever picture editing um, I need to do. That's my job every day and that's where I spend the majority of my time. Um, connecting with people and then social media and so that is you know what I would recommend is just to pick one or two platforms and get really really good at it so like I said it actually started on Instagram for me now um, how does this relate to Synergence and lip sense well I know I am a very visual person and this business is very visual, right? We all learn how to take selfies and how to show off uh, the product and post pictures of ourselves wearing it. And so the good thing about platforms like Instagram and Facebook and Pinterest is that they're very visual. So you have a split second to grab someone's attention and then it's gone which can be a good or a bad thing. It's a, it's a, it can be a bad thing if your picture has poor lighting and those kinds of things. But if you've taken a great selfie and you've put your hashtags on your Instagram post, you know, and someone's scrolling and you stop their scroll, then that's a powerful way to build your brand on that platform. So that's how you can do that with this business is you know, being visual, like if you are really good at taking those selfies and you have good lighting, you know, I would focus personally on Instagram or Pinterest because those platforms, especially people are just going through and scrolling so, so fast, in my experience, even faster than Facebook. And you have tons of surrounding pictures around your picture, you know, so what's going to make you stand out? What's going to make someone tap and pin your picture or like your picture on Instagram? You know, um, it has to be very visually appealing. So if you're very, you know, into the, uh, the selfies and the makeup and highlighting you and your face, you know, I would recommend one of those two. But I wanted to talk about video next. So how did I go from... Instagram to Pinterest and YouTube, right? So my newest distributor found me on Pinterest. So I pinned one of my pictures, probably one that I uploaded to Facebook or Instagram because I put the same content everywhere. It's called cross posting. And so I probably uploaded a picture from one of my other platforms to Pinterest and put a bunch of tags on it and that's probably how she found my picture which then linked to my YouTube so that's the beauty of Pinterest is my pin my picture will link to whatever I want it to now you can put your Cinesite you could put your Facebook page but I personally chose to put my YouTube link um, to that picture on Pinterest and so from there she started following me on YouTube. Now, what are the advantages of linking YouTube to Instagram, right? Okay, because remember it all started with Instagram. So 
Pinterest, and then YouTube followed because I quickly saw the power of video. When you're branding yourself, what is going to set you apart from the next person, from the next distributor? And for me, that was video because people get to know your personality, you know, how you get excited and passionate. They can hear your voice. And so video is a very powerful way to connect with someone that you don't even know on the internet and they just get you and they either, you know, order from you, become a distributor or both. So that's the goal, right? Well, video is a game changer. And so I started doing, you know, Instagram Live and Facebook Live and uploading those videos to YouTube. So in my experience, that's the easiest way is just to go live. For example, this video, I will save it to my phone and upload it to YouTube after I'm done. And there's another piece of content that I have and I can also post it on Facebook. So, like I said, I'm not just sitting around all day thinking of things to create for content for my social media. I'm just documenting everything I'm doing. When I get ready for the day, I'm taking a selfie to post on Facebook later. I know Tara mentioned um, earlier about how she schedules all her posts for the month on her Facebook business page. And that is my favorite thing about Facebook business pages. I do have one that I love for that reason. I can just schedule all my posts in advance and they will post automatically. So if you're short on time, that's a great way to, you know, save a lot of time and get your content out there because you don't have to manually post it. You can upload in advance. So um, that's what I'll do with this video and create content for my YouTube channel. I can pin that YouTube video to Pinterest. And then I can also upload it to my Facebook business page. I can even put it on Instagram. I might have to edit a few clips because Instagram videos have to be short. You know, they can't be long like on YouTube. But my point is, is this one video that I'm doing, this training video for all of you, is going to be something that I can use as content and that people can find me through. So say someone is shopping for distributors to sign up with, and they can relate to me and my story or something I say in my video, they may decide to sign up with me over someone else just because of things that I say in my video. So I want to put that out there. I want people to see this training that I'm doing on social media. So that's just one example of how I cross post this content on all these platforms. And I know it may sound like a lot, but um, I was going to share a few things I do to speed up the process because if you do Facebook business pages, you see how easy and time saving it is, right, to schedule your posts. Okay, well, what about these other platforms that I'm talking about where you can't schedule in advance? Well, like I said, I will take one piece of content like this video, simply upload it at the same time to all of these platforms. And that could be content for a week even. Um, for example, it may be one YouTube video, but it may be 10 small clips that I can post all week long on my Instagram. And so I'll go and upload those and hashtag that on Instagram and then upload to Pinterest and then pin the YouTube video. So a super easy hack for Pinterest is to have the app on your phone. So say you're gonna post that selfie to your Facebook page. At the same time that you're scheduling that post, I would just pin from the Pinterest app and you can upload that picture with one tap. And then you can copy and paste your tags um, to attract people. Um, so there are tons of free Pinterest and YouTube trainings that you can just look up on YouTube. That's what I did. But that helps you decide on tags to use. Just like Instagram uses hashtags to attract people to you. They can find you by searching hashtags. 
You can do the same thing for Facebook business pages, uh, Pinterest, and YouTube. You can use tags on your videos to attract people to you that you're trying to bring in. So that's a powerful way to target your network, um, expand your network. So I would just Google or YouTube that if you are serious about building one of those platforms and you can learn more about what kind of tags you should be using. But just as an example, I'm a registered nurse, so I would use, you know, hashtags and tags on these platforms as it relates to, you know, me being a nurse and then working from home, you know, being a, a vlogger and a beauty blogger. I use those kinds of tags because that's the kind of person I'm trying to attract, my ideal customer and my ideal distributor. So it's going to depend on you and your interests and who you're trying to attract. So you wouldn't necessarily use the same kind of tags that I would. Um, but those are great ways to attract people to you. Um, so, like I said, anyone can take a stock image from Pinterest and post it. You know, tons of distributors do that already. So what's going to set you apart as a distributor and make someone order from you or sign up as a distributor with you? And it's your brand. It's not your lip sense stock image from Pinterest that you saved. Um, so, you know, what colors do you like and why? You know, those are the kinds of posts and pictures that we should be sharing because they show the relatable things, the real life things, you know. Uh, so that's what I try to share is just what I'm about and my brand, um, not necessarily the Lip Sense brand and the Synagence brand, you know, because anybody can do that. What makes me me and sets me apart? So I, I try to put my own twist on my posts and things that I talk about. So, yeah, basically I will just go live and do a video on Facebook or Instagram. I use my business page on Facebook so I can expand my network because people have found me just via a Google search and end up on my Facebook business page because of tags that I've used. So that's kind of how that works. Um, so I will just cross post and upload the same content everywhere and then put those tags on there, you know, and attract who I'm looking for to me that way. So I, I talked about consistency too. I'm consistent. Um, I try to go live at least once a week and do a get ready with me or some kind of tip or a color combination that I'm really liking right now or some kind of educational, um, you know, tip. Like I talk a lot about the science behind our products and I love the biology aspect as a nurse, you know, and prevention. So I talk a lot about that and that's how I come up with content is I just document the things that I like and enjoy and then, you know, share that. Um, so I post one to two times a day. So like I said, video, my goal is like once a week to go live, to do a video, and then I'll post that everywhere, Facebook, YouTube, and then on like Facebook business page and Instagram, my goal is to post at least one to two times a day. So. Um, and I schedule my Facebook posts and then I manually post on Instagram. So that's kind of my schedule and how I stay consistent with my posts and accountable because that consistency is everything and I want to build that rapport with my following and treat this like a business because I want it to be a business for me. It's not a hobby, so I treat it like that. But um, you can follow me on any of my social media platforms. I'm on Facebook, Caitlin Holly Beauty, and Instagram, Caitlin Holly Beauty. And then my YouTube is just Caitlin Holly, I believe, if you search that. Um, so that's where you can find me. And like I said, if you have any questions, you can comment below. 
and I'll be glad to answer those. But that's pretty much all I have. If you have anything specifically for me while I'm live, I'll be glad to answer that before I go. But I hope that you found something helpful from this. Um, I love social media. It's my jam. And it's just where we're headed this, these days. People don't even have time for Facebook parties um, or demos in person. But they will, you know, click a selfie and tap on that picture and want that color, you know. So we just have seconds, it seems like, to connect with someone. And so, you know, it's, it's a fun challenge for me to try and do that with my posts. And um, it's fun, you know. If you make it, like I said, it's a job for me. I treat it like that every day, but it's fun. You can have a lot of creativity and free reign with your posts, you know, and videos and just be yourself. That's what I try to do um, with my videos and hope that someone can relate. And so, yeah, that's pretty much everything that I have. But if you don't have any questions, I will let y'all go but like I said feel free to, if you're watching this later feel free to comment in the comments below this video and I'll be glad to come back and answer any of those but that's all I have for y'all I hope y'all have a great night bye